A deadly epidemic is leaving families across the northern suburbs traumatised by the loss of much-loved pets. Parvovirus has killed more than 150 dogs in just four weeks, prompting an urgent warning to get pets vaccinated. Heartbreaking reminders of the friends they've lost. 12-week-old puppy Zuma and Pepper caught parvovirus and had to be put down last week. I actually had to hold my five-year-old son down to get Pepper out of his arms. Many other families from the northern suburbs are also mourning. In the past month, hundreds of dogs have died from the highly contagious and painful disease. We have seen an 800% increase in the amount of parvovirus cases uh, compared to the same time last year. There's definitely been an epidemic. In a week we put down 10 animals and those were just the ones we saw that the owners couldn't afford to treat. A Nine News investigation has revealed parvovirus has concentrated in Adelaide's northern suburbs. Elizabeth and Davron Park have been hardest hit. It's also spread to the western suburbs, bringing the total number of dog fatalities to 152. The signs of parvovirus are bloody diarrhoea, vomiting and lethargy. Parvo spreads through dogs' faeces, but it can be contained if owners clean their pets' quarters with bleach. The warmer weather we've been experiencing, coupled with the ongoing rain as well, has made it the perfect breeding ground for Parvo. Getting vaccinated is crucial, but pups aren't protected until they get their three shots over 20 weeks, while adult dogs need boosters. I would say definitely, definitely, definitely make sure that you get your dog's Parvo yearly shot. Catherine Kennedy, Nine News.